Hello everyone, in this lecture the topic aphasia and its two types are explained in detail with understandable examples. But, if you are new to my channel then please subscribe the channel and like the video. Let's first learn aphasia. Aphasia is a language disorder that affects how a person communicates. What does it mean? Simply, it is nothing but just a language disorder. Or in other words, you can say, aphasia can cause difficulty with speaking, writing, and understanding language. There must a question in your mind that how aphasia can occur. So, the answer is, aphasia is usually caused by damage to the language centers of the brain, which are typically located in the left hemisphere. Basically, the left hemisphere of our brain is responsible for language. But, this part of our brain is damaged then we face difficulties in using language. So, in linguistics, it is called aphasia. Actually, there are many different types of aphasia, depending on which parts of the brain are damaged and the severity of the damage. Some of the most common types of aphasia include, Broca's aphasia, and, Wernicke's aphasia. Let's learn first, Broca's aphasia. Broca's aphasia, also known as non-fluent aphasia, is a type of aphasia that affects the ability to speak fluently. Basically, this kind of aphasia is also called non-fluent aphasia. If you have Broca's aphasia, you may be able to comprehend what's being said but be unable to speak fluently because your brain isn't able to control the fluency of your speech. Simply, it means if a part of the brain which is responsible for speaking is damaged then you will not be able to speak fluently, so, this is called Broca's aphasia. But the question is what the symptoms of Broca's aphasia are. So, the first one is Poor or absent grammar By this point, it means that a person who has this kind of language disorder will not be able to produce grammatically correct sentences. Basically, People with Broca's aphasia may have difficulty putting words in the correct order in a sentence. Simply, they will not be able to put proper word in its proper order. Difficulty in forming complete sentences. You need to remember that difficulty in forming complete sentences is a common symptom of Broca's aphasia because damage to the Broca's area affects the ability to plan and produce sentences. Omitting certain words. By this point, omitting certain words in aphasia means that a person with this aphasia may leave out certain words when they are speaking. A person having this aphasia will omit words like, articles, conjunctions etc. from a sentence. Producing speech that is slow and halting. Actually, producing speech that is slow and halting in aphasia is a common symptom of Broca's aphasia. There are a number of reasons why people with Broca's aphasia may produce speech that is slow and halting. One reason is that, they may have difficulty in planning the structure of sentences. This is because the Broca's area is involved in planning the order of words and phrases in a sentence. While on the other hand, Wernicke's aphasia. Wernicke's aphasia is a type of aphasia that is characterized by difficulty in understanding a language. Simply, it is another language disorder but in this disorder a person will not be able understand a spoken or written language. Simply, you can say something to a person who has this aphasia so he or she will not able to get meaning from your sentence because of this disorder. Basically, it is caused by damage to the Wernicke's area, which is a part of the brain that is responsible for language processing. Actually, it is different from Broca's aphasia because it is responsible for speaking and Wernicke's area is responsible for comprehension. But, if you want to differentiate it from Broca's aphasia then keep in mind these points. Impaired comprehension. By this point, it means that a person having this language disorder will have difficulty to comprehend the language whether written or spoken. This may include difficulty following conversations, understanding jokes, or reading and comprehending text. 
Basically, this part of the brain is responsible for comprehension. Actually, when it is damaged the the a person will struggle to comprehend a language. Poor word retrieval. By this point, it means that a person having Wernicke's aphasia will have difficulty to find appropriate word for a specific thing. Actually, poor word retrieval is one of the most common symptoms of Wernicke's aphasia. It refers to the difficulty in finding the right words to say, even though the person knows what they want to say. This can be a very frustrating experience for people with Wernicke's aphasia, as it can make it difficult for them to communicate their thoughts and feelings to others. Unawareness of incorrect production. This is also one of the main symptoms that a person having this language disorder will be unaware of his or her incorrect production of speech. Simply, it means that a person will not able to get notice of their incorrect speech. He will think that he's saying syntactically and semantically correct sentences but it won't be. So, this is also one of the symptoms of this language disorder. Well, if you have enjoyed this lecture then please don't forget like and subscription to the channel. Thank you.